I think you'd probably call this an underpainting. This is one of the terms you'd say. That's right. Um, basically, the sort of thing I'd probably do outside, you know, if I went out to see a particular place, you know, you can actually mm. put things in where they are and then work it up at home. And also sharpen up this horizon line yeah. that drifts out from the sky. Using that cutting motion. Yep. Because it's a bit like railway lines that when you're painting waves, is obviously closer together on the horizon as we're getting nearer to the viewer. That's right. You're going to be wider apart. One of the fortunate things in oil painting is that we can use a little three dimension, although it's a two dimensional surface, by laying the paint on thick, the way that you're doing it now, actually from where I am. So you can get your fingers behind some of those rocks. Very effective. Yeah, that's the advantage with oils. You know, if there is an advantage over watercolour, possibly, yeah. Yeah. is that you can use texture, three-dimensional texture, it's yeah. actually physical texture, not just an illusion. Well, it's the benefits rather than advantages. Yeah. It's benefits. I mean, watercolour is you know, one thing, oil that's painting right. acrylics are another. It's it depends what you're trying to achieve, doesn't it? Yep, that's right. So we're back on the picture. What are you doing now? What I'm doing is putting a few more highlights on the waves to start mm -hmm. with. And I just add a little bit of cabin yellow up here just to pick the yeah. sun shape out. There. What colour are you using? Uh, I've got a, a very pale purple mixture, so again it's that daughter me blue. Colour is and crimson, crimson. white, bonita. Thin white paint all over the surface. As you can see, there's a little bit of white paint in there and it's been thinned down with 50% sansed oil, 50% linseed oil. So we've got this thin smear of oil paint over the whole of the surface. The beauty about this linen textured paper is it can be mounted and framed like a watercolour or an acrylic. And we'll just see what it looks like with the mount. Mm -hmm.